Welcome to the art project. I'm going to use a project that I got from Miss T Fox Resources at TeacherPayTeachers.com. It is a fantastic project. Uh, I've actually been looking forward to this project all semester long so far. It's been about nine weeks, ten weeks, and uh, I just I've been really excited about it. So in this particular video, one of my students is actually doing the drawing. Uh, so this is a student um, piece right here. This is um, the girl's hands you can see right there in the picture. This is not me doing the drawing this time. Um, this is the ice cream project, and it is done with white color pencil on black paper. The first thing you're going to need is a sheet of 9 by 12 drawing uh, paper, 9 by 12 construction paper. And you're going to put a half inch border on the uh, construction paper and then you're going to divide it into four equal parts four quadrants uh, that's going to be about four and a half inches from one side to the middle and you want to mark that on both uh, the top and the bottom and then draw a line down and it's going to be uh, six inches from the top on both sides and then mark that across you don't really see that in the picture uh, but she did. She's using the quadrant method to get everything drawn as accurately as possible. If you recall, we did the quadrant method earlier in the school year. It was like one of the first assignments we did. We blew up a little picture of Sid that I got also from Tiffany Fox Resources, from Miss T. Fox Resources. Picture of Sid, we blew it up using the quadrant method, and we learned how to do that. So what you learned there, you're going to use here. Uh, I know what you're thinking that when you look at this ice cream it's gonna overwhelm you and think oh my gosh that's too much that's uh, it's crazy all those swirls and everything but there's really not that many swirls you can literally count them in just a few seconds there's you know like on that one uh, picture that she's got there there's like one two three four five six seven eight swirls you know it's not that much so Take your time, and if you will draw one quadrant at a time, uh, it'll absolutely be no problem. So take a deep breath, take a step back, look at it, tell yourself you can do it. Be confident in yourself. Be confident in your abilities. Uh, you absolutely positively cannot do it without confidence. You need to believe in yourself. And so you may be thinking to yourself right now, well, I don't believe in myself. I, there's, there's, there's no way I can do this. You've got to put that kind of negative talk behind you and stop uttering it. Do not utter negative words. Do not utter negative sentiments. Um, believe that you can do it and you will do a whole lot better. You may not do it as perfect as uh, the student has done it here. Uh, you may not do it as good as some of the other students in the classroom around you, but that's okay. You're learning. You're you're gaining skills here. Okay. The second thing you need is perseverance. Uh, you need to get the project done. If you don't get it, the project done, then you'll have nothing to look at and be proud of. But if you get it done, even if it's not perfect. I promise you, when you get back from it, you're going to look at it and you're not going to believe what you've been able to do. Uh, this has been the case with all of my students that have done it so far. They have completed it and then stepped back and said, you know what, this is, I, I couldn't believe I could do this. I can't believe I could do this. So persevere. So uh, now she is to the uh, shading it in section and she has started um, building up those whites. Be careful about building up the white too much too fast too bright too fast take your time look at the reference photo do not try to shade this in without looking at the reference photo over and over and over again in fact don't start the drawing or get halfway through the drawing without looking at the reference photo if I come by to look at what you're doing and you don't have the reference photo out I'm gonna be very upset you are meant to cheat off of the reference photo that's where the information is that's where the um, the details that you need to make it look realistic they're right there on that reference photo use it 
um, but build up your white slowly. You can always get it brighter later on, uh, but it's harder to make it darker. And you don't want to erase if you don't have to. You might find yourself erasing a little bit here and there. Uh, you may need to. That's fine. But you want to try and avoid it if you can because it really just sort of makes the color pencil on the paper look a little bit slimy. And uh, so we don't want to overdo the erasing. Try and make your values uh, accurate by the pressure of the pencil, the pressure you're putting on the pencil alone. Uh, do little circular motions as you're shading it in. Don't scribble. If you scribble, it'll look scribbly. Um, you're actually scribbling, you know, no matter you know whether it's little circular motions or lines or whatever, you're scribbling, but you want to try and get those scribbles to kind of fade away. You don't want people to look at this picture and see scribbles. You want them to look at it and see an ice cream cone. So um, put behind you the ways that you used to use color pencil when you were in kindergarten, first grade, all the way up to fourth, fifth grade. You are now um, either middle school or high school, and you can uh, do this much better. You can use a much more professional color pencil uh, technique and so I, I highly recommend and encourage the small circular motions that way you don't um, you don't get that scribbly look so uh, this takes a while uh, when when all was said and done I had uh, two hours worth of video footage of her working on this um, ice cream and that was just the video footage. I did not video everything she did, did not record everything that she did. Uh, I would record for about five or 10 minutes and then I would stop it and let her keep working. And then I would record another five or 10 minutes and then I would stop it. And so it probably took her, I would say at least three hours, maybe four hours to do this. So do not waste your class time. Uh, you need to be working on this every second of the class. Uh, when you're done, it doesn't take but a second to put your work away. So work all the way up until the bell rings, and then you can turn your work in on the way out of class. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and mention the background. Uh, you need to do something in the background, but you kind of have the freedom to do as you please. You don't want to go outside the line that you've drawn for the border. Uh, you don't want the background to be brighter than the ice cream itself. The ice cream should take precedence. It's the emphasis of your picture. If your background is really, really white, then it's going to blend in with your ice cream quite a bit. But you don't want to leave it black either because the black is very sterile and very plain. And if you uh, do a great job on this ice cream and then you leave the background totally black, uh, it's going to look unfinished. So do a little bit of something to the background. You can do some research and find out what the best way to handle the background is. When you look at the end of this video, you'll see how this student uh, did her background. I'm sure I'll be showing you some other student examples later on, and you can see how they did their background. Um, so uh, just do the best you can. Uh, do your research before you jump into the background. Don't just do a background and, and mess it all up, okay? Um, yep, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this assignment. Um, you need to be consistent. Uh, you need to be confident, you need to persevere, uh, you need to use your um, skills, the um, four quadrant method of blowing it up, uh, scaling it up, use that, learn that real early on. No outlines, there are absolutely no outlines. You saw her drawing the outlines of everything, but she did that real lightly, forgot to mention that. She did everything very lightly at first, and as you can see now, um, down on the bottom you can still see the outlines but up towards the top you can't really see the outlines anymore and it is looking amazing is it not I mean it looks like a real ice cream and um, yeah no no outlines in real life and so there's no outlines on this ice cream so uh, use the quadrant method to scale it up remember
remember there's no outlines in real life. Uh, use little circular burnishing type um, marks as you are drawing it so that you avoid having a lot of uh, scribble. Uh, look at her drawing. Look at it real close. There's no scribble in this drawing. That you just It looks smooth and realistic and it's fantastic. And she's done all of this with a color pencil. Keep that in mind. She's done all of this with a color pencil. All right. Um, I can't think of anything else to say. Be confident. Take your time. Remember, you got uh, plenty of time to do this, and it took her about four days, uh, at least four different class periods to do this. So uh, you, while you do have plenty of time to do it and you need to take your time, you also need to work the entire time so that you don't lose any of the time that you um, have to work on it. Start off uh, with light pressure. Don't get too dark too fast. I'm just repeating myself now at this point. Um, this probably should have been a uh, funnier video. Should have made some jokes or something. I don't know. All right, I'm just going to let you watch till the end, quietly. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what you think. Share this with some friends. Uh, challenge each other. Give each other a ice cream drawing challenge. Uh, challenge your friends. Post this on Facebook or something and say, hey, I challenge you to do this drawing. See what happens. Anyway, that's it. Y'all have a great uh, day. And uh, like, subscribe, and share. Later. Go make some art.